Hello, um, so in this video we're going to be looking at a quick um, guide to help you build the DJI F450. So uh, the first thing that you'll do when you get the, the box here is obviously unpackage it and make sure that you've got everything that should be in there. Uh, what I like to do at this point is to lay it all out on a table just so you can see all of your things. Um, and organize the smaller bits as well so you see the the box that we've got up there in the uh, in the top left hand corner for putting all the all the small bits like the screws just so just so that you don't lose them really so in the kit you should have a compass gear um, GPS compass a top plate bottom plate uh, which is circuit boards as well propellers um, the control box uh, all the motors and uh, electronic uh, speed controllers, the arms and the uh, and the legs, um, and all the other all the other small bits like the LED blinkers and that sort of thing. So the first thing we're going to be doing is um, doing all the soldering jobs. So here we're starting off with um, the G paddle GPS compass unit, uh, soldering that down. Um, notice the amount of solder that we're using and not loads but um, a good amount just to make sure that um, the wires don't come loose in, in flight or, or anything like that or even if you have a crash or anything uh, so good soldering is vital here also look where we're putting the soldering so then moving on to the, the speed controllers soldering them uh, soldering them down and they go around the outside edge uh, as well as the speed control box uh, and these go in each corner because there's obviously four of them if you, well if you've got the four bladed copter there's four uh, obviously six of them six bladed uh, one that you're working with um, so after this uh, it's a good idea to um, screw uh, the motors in the uh, onto the arms, uh, bolt the motors onto the arms, attach them on. Uh, the only important point with this uh, is you'll notice on the actual motors there's arrows uh, which point in each direction, uh, point in the direction which the motor spins. It's vital that you get uh, uh, like a motor that turns clockwise on one red arm and on the other red arm the motor that turns anti clockwise, and the same with the white uh, as well, so that you have. For each colour of arm, you've got um, both uh, direction uh, direction directions of motors. So once we've finished all of the soldering, um, we're going to uh, stick the control box down, the main control box, which uh, gets all uh, all kind of all the plugs plugged into it. Um, and then we'll move on to putting the arms on as well. So the two red ones, uh, they mark the front of the copter, and the two white ones mark the back of the copter. Um, in terms of knowing where each arms go, uh, you can use the software which you get uh, which you can download from DJI's website and as you can see on here it's very self-explanatory it will show you where each motor goes motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4 which is relevant later when we're actually plugging the motors in as well but you notice the two red arms at the front two white arms at the back um, so Next, um, plugging in the electronic control uh, units into the motors. So when you plug these in, you plug them in kind of the self-explanatory sort of way, um, left to right, um, and then as it comes to testing later, to change the, the direction of your motor if it's going the wrong way, you swap any two of them over and it will uh, change the direction of the motor if you've got it wrong in the first place but it's essential that you test this before you take it fully flying uh, 
So we look at now where we plug um, what in. If we have a look at this control box on the right, we see it's labelled M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, uh, etc. This is where the motors um, plug in. So if you remember the software that we we're looking at earlier, um, that had on it uh, where each motor plugged in. So you see M1, M2, M3, M4. You just follow that diagram for plugging in the servos uh, fairly self-explanatory uh, and then on on the left here you'll see that um, there's two chunkier wires coming out the one at the top from this picture uh, goes through to the LED emitter and the one on the bottom on the right goes to the GPS compass so we'll just get a quick diagram uh, for you so you can see uh, so that's the the diagram which you get from DJI's website just to kind of explain it with labels uh, so to speak um, there it so there's a, uh, a good picture of the front of the, uh, the left hand side from the picture before left hand side of the box left wire goes off to the LED right up to the compass as you can clearly see there uh, it's slightly different if you've got a NASA light or a V2 and another very important point here which you can see is that arrow on the compass points forwards um, the, towards the, the two red arms which mark the front all that's left to do now is to install your control gear um, whatever that control system may be it's different for different ones uh, we will feature an, another video of the the basic DJI control system um, but because there's so many different controllers we will not feature it in this video which is just the build of the uh, actual copter um, but once you've got it set up you just calibrate it um, set it up for your personal uh, specification and take it for a flight